It's here. Waited so long to get this package. I know it's actually not um Sergey's fault. This is actually um a lot of it was because of the post office. But what you might ask yourself, what is in this package? Well, I mean you can kinda of see from the title, this is actually my first well, not really unboxing, I'm bagging of some gear from Gray Shop actually, all the way from Good old Russia. Um, so in this video, I'm just going to be unpacking what I got and um, seeing actually how Grey Shop actually does um, with that other thing. So as you can see, I actually did not open this package at all. So it's all sealed and everything, which is really nice. Um, did come with a tracking number. The only problem I had with the tracking number really was, um, one, it, I went to the Russian, um, a Russian tracking website, and it was good all the way to America. Then when it got to America, it basically went off the map, for more or less. And, um, if you saw on the Russian Inter International Facebook group page, um, I was concerned that maybe something happened to it. But if that happens to you, actually go to the UPS website if you live in the U.S. Because then I actually did that and it actually told me that it was on, actually on a truck actually to my house. Um, so, a couple of quick things about Gray Shop. Um, first off, I'm not, I didn't get a discount. I didn't get any promotions, nothing like that from the owner or owners of this place. This is going to be fair, unbiased, and I'm going to give my opinion about these guys at the end of this. And, um, I got a backpack, I got some other gear, um, so it's going to be really cool and interesting to see what's actually inside. I'm really excited. Um, but before we go on, there was a couple quick things I do want to say. Um, number one, this is all U.S., so I don't know if it's different in the U.K. or other countries like Japan or China or the Philippines. But at least for the U.S., um, I actually tr they actually there was actually two ways you can pay online. They can either use PayPal or they can actually use a Russian um, billing service that they use a credit card, kind of like how on um, like Evac or other what um, websites whether he's putting the credit card information um russia i've never bought anything from russia so i don't know how it really went but i thought you know what i'm gonna try it i have enough money in the bank screw it why not um and there was also like a 10 percent discount if i went that way and i was gonna save like a bunch of money which was awesome but I actually tried these on my car. My car was declined for some odd reason. Uh, I thought it was because I did this right off the holidays. Maybe something happened. But after I placed the order with PayPal, actually, um, I got a call from my bank saying that it was um, credit card fraud detection. So they just want to make sure that was actually um, me and like somebody else buying stuff. So... If they want, so if they want, do you want to get that discount? Just look out. Just take the time. Um, it does add up, to be honest with you. So anyway, I'm done. Time to open this package of happiness. Oh my god, yes! And I'm sure that the camera's not the best way. I was planning this somewhere else, but I have my girlfriend's friends over taking up the. The upstairs, so yeah. You see how things nice and sealed. I mean, it is. You can't get in that to save your life. Well, ooh, rip away, fun. Ooh boy. Oh, 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 
What do we got? Let's see here. First off, we got tourniquet. Wrap your around my AK, which is gonna be awesome. For that extra milsim way. Plus, it's freaking cool. Come on now. And comes with this little piece of paper. It's all in Russian. I have no clue what this stuff says. Uh, but I'm guessing summer it says don't put it around your neck. Oh look, there's a telephone number and there's a website. So yay, I guess. <clears throat> and the next thing is I got a medic pouch for my smurf. Which is awesome, thank god, because I need one. Mine didn't come with one. Pretty good. Molly. So, that'll be nice. Ah, uh, Got my field hat. Because, honestly, and I got an XL, actually. Yeah. That's pretty good, actually. Um, kind of tight, but I bet with the fabric it will stretch out over time. Um, the other cool thing about Grey Trump, actually, before I forget, I do want to give them props. Um, I know in Russia, they, the sizing clerics are different than America. Uh, they use numbers um, then other than XL, L, M, you know, like here in America. Um, but the cool thing, with, and honestly, when I got my Gurkha and my um, BDUs, actually, I actually had to go on the favor of my size in the Russian card, and that was kind of confusing at first, but I figured it out. But they now have a American standard card, so it's. <coughs> <coughs> Man, I got a bad cough. So it does help. But I'm really happy with that. And a tag here. And honestly, I don't know, really know the different companies. But I guess my head is a 50, size 59. And because just in case somebody asks on the brand. So. It looks brand new also, which is really nice. I like. Oh, what else? Oh, yes. Now my own team's trying to shoot me in the freaking face. Ah, oh, there we go. Ah! There we go. You see... Nice little tag. Yet again, same company as the hat. Looks like for belt, you got your own side. <laughs> and your everyday standard yellow side. Looks brand new actually. I like that. It's pretty, pretty, really cool. Fear tourniquet. Looks brand spanky new. Yeah, it actually says there's a mark. It says 2016. So, yeah, I'm. See, I was actually thinking this was going to be like some. Something from like the 1980s or the 1960s or something like that, but. Looks new. But still, I mean, honestly, it's freaking Aerosoft. It's. It still looks cool, and in my AK stock, whatever, you know. Oh, look at this. I got very polite people, and I it's VL Crow, and it's going on my pack wall. 
Oh, yeah. At the normie, I love cats. And that one internet meme, the very polite people. Yeah. Love it. And I also got... St. George's Ribbon. Just a simple ribbon. Plus part of Russia. And, um, it was, keep, it was a dollar, so, what the heck. Then, I fully got this. And, honestly, I do not remember if I bought this one. I think I got a dog tag. But, if I did, I don't think it was this one. So, I'm going to have to look back at my older butt. Hey, free cane. <laughs> <coughs> Man, I got this really bad cough. Mm. Ooh. Had to get a belt. My American belts were... Nah, I gotta cut the mustard at. <clears throat> Milson West, let's be freaking honest. Everybody would get laughing at me. And... I think I actually got the camouflaged one of this, but... Honestly, I don't really care. It's, it's the buckle falls off. Nice, realistic looking buckle. I mean, it, it's, it's freaking real. It's metal. It's cool. I like it. I think I got the camouflage one. I think I got that one originally, but it's the same price. And honestly, it was right off the holiday. So I bet these guys were swamped with orders. And the belt itself. Just look maybe surplus-ish, but honestly, it's still in one piece, and it looks great. And they got a belt loop there, too. So, yeah, it's pretty nice, actually. I really like it. <clears throat> mm, what else do we have? I know I got one more thing, at least. Oh, okay, that's it. Other than a kangaroo bag. 45 liters. Um, honestly, I needed a Russian bag for Nelson West. And honestly, this was, I think, 30 bucks. And I see some really good reviews on it. And it looks brand spanking new. And you can see they got a company tag there. So, oops. Focus. 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 There we go. Autofocus activate. Autofocus activate. My God. There we go. <clears throat> it looks pretty cool, actually. I... And they got straps on the bottom, looks like. Actually, I guess not on the bottom. Nope, actually got belt loops. So we can actually... <coughs> um, what I'm doing is I'm actually just going to get a store plus American... Um, what was it? Uh, sleeping bag, military, with the um, spaghetti straps, I think it's called. And just loop them around... Not around that one. Around these. So I, I always have it dangling below me. So. Then on top. You got some more loops. They look pretty strong. And. It looks like the double stick actually. So. Props on this company. Oh. Um, and I'm guessing people are going to be saying. You know. What's inside the bag? Let's see what's inside the bag. Oh my god. Let's see what's inside the bag. Okay. In the main compartment. Really roomy. I mean, honestly, I can fit a ton of stuff in there. Plus, there's a drawstring on it. So, 
You got that second layer of protection. Then you have Yeah, lots of room there. Then you have some room, some pockets on the next side. Pockets on this side. I really like it. I mean, honestly, to be completely honest with you, I think the favorite my favorite thing. <coughs> Excuse me, is um the bag, actually. I'm very happy I bought this. And honestly, I mean, I think this bag would be great for even taking to school. It was cheap. I mean, this by the bag, I think shipping to at least where I am in America to Michigan <coughs> was like nineteen dollars. Bag was thirty, so fifty bucks for this massive bag. So, so, it looks like they said everything. And honestly, I am trying to think about those dog tags. And I think I didn't buy them because I was going to feel kind of weird wearing dog tags. Even though I'm not a vet. I'm sorry, guys. I would feel kind of weird wearing dog tags because I am not a veteran. There we go. Oh, my God. It's pretty hard. There we go. But, <coughs> excuse me. But for the belt buckle, honestly, if I did get the green one and they sent me the wrong one, I honestly don't care because, you know, I'm not going to have this thing really grilling, you know, out where people can see me. And honestly, I mean, I can take some old drive spray paint and just spray it over. That's it. So, honestly, that was my first shipment from um, Gray Shop. And I think at the end of the day, um, I didn't really spend that much money. I mean, I spent like a total of like a hundred and I think fifty dollars. And, um, it was actually not that bad. I'm actually very, very happy about everything. Everything looks brand spanking new. Um, everything looks, you know, there's no mothballs, there's no holes, there's no rips, there's no tears. Um, so I honestly think, hands down, if they want to go with a rushing setup, great shop, hands down, if they want to get stuff in bulk. Um, another good thing about, about great shop, just thinking about it briefly, is, um, I know a lot of people, they have, I hear these stories of, oh, I bought this stuff from some money in Russia, and it's been taking, you know, so many months. Honestly, I would just, <clears throat> I'm just go with a store, like a real, like, legit store, um, like, Dray Shop, you know, I mean, honestly, I'm gonna tell anybody who wants to sell the Russian loadout, if, they are looking for, like, one place to buy the stuff. Gray shop, hands down. Um, I really need to get a new set of BDUs. And I think I'm... No, I don't think I am going to buy from them. Because their BDUs is super cheap, too. The smirches, very cheap. Like, 100 bucks for an AK rig. So, basically... If I had to go and get them, I'd scale 1 to 10. I prefer, I was going to give them my rating, my phone actually dipped below 5% and my camera just died. <coughs> so, gave them some time to recharge and during that time I looked at my order and um, two things. One, I did buy a dog tag. This is the dog tag. Looks a little bit different than online. Um, the one online... Um, it has like a groove in the middle. It looks like you could actually like bend it apart. But honestly, this is four bucks. I don't care. I don't know why I haven't gotten this in the first place. It looks cool though. I think it would be look, look really cool in a mill sim setup. So, and I did get one of these actually in the camouflage option. But honestly, I don't care because I fixed the brass one. Because 
I'm not going to lose any sleep over it. It was 11 bucks. It was some sweet looking belt. Anyway, what is my rating? If I had to give a rating to these guys. Other than this little mess up, I would have to say 10 out of 10. Hands down. The stuff looks legit. It looks legit. Um, prices are great. All the stuff actually costs for $122 without shipping. And I got it within about 15 days. And they gave me a tracking number. Package wasn't pop or anything like that. So, um, you know, I still want to get some more stuff down the road. But when I do get that stuff, I am definitely going to the great shop. Hands down. And guys, that's all I have to say. I mean, I can't say anything else other than me rambling. So, until next time, guys, hopefully soon I will get some aerosol videos up real soon when my laptop actually starts working properly. Hopefully one day. Soon. Yes. Anyway, I am done. Good night.